Hi, AD. I'm Misty, and welcome to my home. Me and my husband actually recently moved in, and it's the first home that we've own together so it's it's really nice to be able to share our interests and love and like bring it into our home something that's been important for us is just to have like a really solid neutral base the nice brown tones in the black and whites and and especially with the carpet really kind of sets a tone to be able to do kind of whatever but then bringing in these pops of color which has definitely pushed my husband and I more outside of our comfort zone but I feel like really brings it to life and it makes it feel elegant and homey. This is my husband's cousin, Shane Evans. This was shot in Africa, which means so much to me just from some organizations and programs that I work with in Rwanda. Obviously, I think the theme is like a lot of artists of color. Nathaniel Mary Quinn, who is an incredible artist and someone who's blowing up right now, because you can see like that a lot of the black and whites our beautiful base and neutral, but I feel like this kind of gave us like a lot of inspiration and tied in like the colors and the pieces that we have like furniture wise. We brought the walls in a little bit just because we wanted to have some type of definition and separation between the living room and the dining room. What's been important for me is to bring in like the elegance. So having chandeliers is like a dream. I just love the mix of the elegance with the chandelier and the texture on the mirror that makes it just look so big and open, I think even bigger than it is. The two rooms are definitely different and defined um, in their own right, but blend so well together. So this is actually my husband's favorite part. He actually designed this bar. And as you can see, he clearly loves Japanese whiskey, which we both love Japan and have traveled to Tokyo many times. Here is the kitchen. Before we go in, we have this right, cool little entryway that we really wanted to just make use of all the space, again, being in a New York City apartment. So we have a wine cellar here, which I love my champagnes and Proseccos, and it's nice to be able to make it work with the space. This was a kind of a newer addition, but this Gary Hume rug, stunning work, and I just love the color in contrast with the lighter blues and the really open, airy whites, which we really wanted to do since it is a narrow kitchen. I practically live in here because I'm a really big uh, food lover and I cook a lot and so just put on music and drink some wine while I'm in here cooking so it's one of my favorite rooms so this is from a dear dear friend of mine uh, photographer Mark Seliger their uh, photograph of Merce Cunningham's hands who is, I mean, one of the most recognized modern dancers. There's so much story and history like in his skin and in his hands. So it's like one of my favorite pieces and it was so incredible that Mark would gift that to me. These walls, and this was not intentional, um, as someone that, doesn't, that didn't come from a lot um, in my youth and growing up, um, I remember Mariah Carey's cribs, <laughs> and I remember in her dressing room, she had this, it looked like candy coated walls, and it was in this pink color, and so that's what I think of when I think of these walls, and it's like my ode to Mariah Carey <laughs> cribs. But it's really elegant, it just kind of ties in everything, like in the dining room and in, in the living room, um, so beautifully. Uh, this, I think, is probably my favorite favorite piece in Didi Maffiel and it's just so incredibly powerful. I feel like I see something new in her like every time I, I look at this piece of art so it's definitely one of my favorites. This is the guest bathroom. One of my favorite parts of it is definitely the wallpaper, the sink, the bronze and of course this piece of art uh, which is Deborah Roberts and similar to Ndidi, just like the beautiful textures. Now we will go into the guest bedroom. Clearly the star of this room is this amazing 
work of art. It's by Asuka Agawa. I mean, it's an unbelievable piece and I feel like it just made sense in here. Again, a woman of color, I think was just a really powerful statement to bring into our home. Of course, the walls, I think in almost every room, we have like something that brings in this incredible texture uh, that really just gives it that something special. So it's not just your typical New York City apartment with white walls, <laughs> pale blues and golds that just keep it really simple, but rich and allow the artwork to shine. But the small details, even in the lighting that I really think just tie it together and I'm often like, can I just sleep in the guest bedroom? Cause it's so beautiful and also really relaxing. So this is the primary bedroom and it's just got a lot of beautiful light dancing eight hours a day, five days a week. It's nice to have a place that's just really serene that I can just like completely like let go and relax. Tufted and padded walls. I guess it's really good for a dancer. Like I'm pretty clumsy. <laughs> It's really nice and comfy and soft, but it also serves as like an entire headboard for the wall. And then to be able to have it carved out for our piece of art, which is my cousin-in-law, again, that's really elegant and muted in here so that we could kind of, I think, change it up whenever we feel like moving into different styles. So just to be able to add like little pops of color here and there. This piece, uh, I feel like it looks like it was made and created for this room. It's Lorna Simpson. Like we have a lot of bright, vibrant pieces throughout the house. And in here, we really wanted to stick to it being really serene and comfortable and relaxing. Now we are going to go into another one of my favorite rooms, uh, which is my dressing room. <laughs> So this is my dressing room, which I mean, is like, I think every girl's dream, but this was really important for me when we were picking out the home that we wanted to purchase. So I really wanted to just make a space that I could have that was reminiscent of old Hollywood and really glamorous. And so the walls have just that beautiful, like velvet, champagne-y, pink, like tones. That, and I'm gonna bring Mariah Carey up again. <laughs> I remember seeing her dressing room and thinking like is that something that like a little biracial girl that grew up poor could really have especially as a as a black woman um, it's just I think really powerful to be able to stand in this room and feel so proud of it um, as I walk into my tutu um, <laughs> You know, I'm not a really girly girl, and I think people would assume because I'm a ballerina that I am, but it is nice to play dress up and have, a, you know, a place that's really elegant. There's this amazing vintage mirror, which I love just having like a story to tell. Just even look at the details and see that it's not like per perfect, all of the imperfections, and it probably was broken and glued back together at some point, but I feel like it's, it's just really representative of like that old Hollywood glamour, vintage feel. That was my favorite room. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming into my home, A.D.